Hi guys, so I've made this wee video on um, straight lines here because some people are saying they have difficulty understanding some of the questions on gradient and straight line. Now, I would suggest each of these questions, here we go them yourself first, try them, and then watch the video if you're working through them. Okay, so the first one here, there are basically two types of different questions you get. You get these kind of ones where you're trying to work out the equation of the line of best fit, and then you get other ones where you're trying to work out the equation of the line by rearranging it a bit. A couple of things here it says the Bears book of sales fast food, shows the relationship between the two, shows you two points, and it says find the equation in terms of F and C. So it's a straight line, you can see that. The first thing, straight line does I mean it's got a constant gradient, it's gonna set to work out a straight line, you basically need come some information, you either need two points, um, and then you can work out a gradient and intercept, any two points. Or a gradient and one other point, and then you can also work out the, the full equation of the line. Now, this one here, you always start with straight line to the general equation. So, the general equation is y equals mx plus c. So, we'll call that there. Now, if the next thing we need to do is, is write down our two points. A is 5 along, 200 up. 5 along, 200 up. B is 25 along, 500 up. So, I'll write that in there. Now the gradient, remember, is how steep the line is. How do we work that out? Is how much if something goes over divided by how much it goes across, how much something goes up divided by how much it goes across the vertical over the horizontal, like that. So this one here, it starts at 200. If we look at the vertical part, remember, x is along, y is over. So it's 200, 500 difference is 300. 5 to 25, a difference is 20. So that will be 300 divided by 20. So the gradient is 15. Okay, so have a look at this. Next part of the equation on the next slide there. So let's just go up to the gradient. Now now we've worked out the gradient, and we'll write the equation like that. Y equals 15x plus c. Now, what do all these parts mean? Y is the y coordinate, 15 is the gradient now, x is the x coordinates, and c is where it cuts the intersects, where it cuts the, the y axis. To work out, we need to add another point and we can sub it in and then see what happens. Okay, so I just picked the first point. So A was 5, 200. So I said X at that point, X is 5 and Y is 200. That's only that point. If we sub that back into the equation, we end up with 200 equals 15 times 5. So where the X was, I've put 5. The Y was, I've put 200. That'll give you 75 plus C equals 200. So C is 1, 2, 5. So now we've got the full equation of the line. And the full equation of the line is 15X plus 125. Now that is the equation of line, but it does say write it in terms of, is it F and C, isn't it? So we have to look at the y-axis, what's on the y-axis, what's on the x-axis, and then we can write that down, and it's calories equal 15 times fat, because calories were on the y-axis, the fat was on the x-axis, so then it's just 15F plus 125. So that's quite a lot of work there to get the full um, three marks, but it's generally relatively straightforward, it's the same type of thing we do over here. Have a look at this sec, but it says this deluxe sandwich, 40 grams of fat, use your answer part A testament number of calories in part B. So again, we've got that first part there. Um, we'll look at calories. F stands for fat. So we see F in the formula, we only put 40 in instead. So that gives that's the formula. Calories will 15 times the fat plus 125. Put it in. We end up with 725 calories just by doing 15 times 40, which is 600, plus 125 is 725 calories. So that's one of the standard problems that comes up in these National 5 um, papers. Okay, I'll well, look at the next one. Now, again, this is another standard type. It says the straight line is equation 4x plus 3y equals 12. Find the gradient of this line. Well, again, we could draw this line and plot the points, but that'd be the really hard way to do it. The best way to do it here is actually to think about our general equation again, y equals mx plus c. Remember that m stands for gradient. So if we can rearrange this equation and make y the subject of the formula, and that means on the left hand side by itself, okay, the bit we're trying to work out, then we can find what the gradient is. So the first step to that to do is I just took away 4x both sides, so I end up with 12 minus 4x. Now if I divide both sides by 3, I'll end up with y equals I just put the x first, negative 4 thirds x plus 4. So now that's me got the general equation of line. Remember the bit in front of x when it's like this in this form, y equals mx plus c, the bit in front of x is just the gradient, so the gradient is negative 4 thirds. And that's us done that one there. Okay. Part B it says, find the coordinate of the point where the line crosses the x-axis. 
So the key bit of information there we're asking to work out is, do you know when something cuts the x-axis that y equals 0? Now you can use either version from the equation. Now you could use this first one, the 4x plus 3 equals 12. You could do 3y plus 12 minus 4x, or you could use the equation you got. Either one's fine. You should set y equal to 0. I used the first one because it was easiest. So that's it there. 4x plus 3 zeros equals 12. 3 zeros are 0, so 4x is 12. That means x must be 3. That's what it cuts the axis there. So again, that's another quite standard problem. So again, this time we've been given two points, it says find the equation of a line. So, again, first thing we'll write down, we'll do the equation of a line, y equals x plus c. So we'll try to find the equation by two points, we have to find the gradient, and then this, the value of c, so the m and the c bar, and then just fire into the equation. So the m bar, remember, is always the two points, and it's the vertical difference divided by the horizontal difference. The vertical difference, remember, is the y1, so it goes from 5 to 15, so the difference is 10. Negative 2 to 3, the difference is 5, so it'll be 15, 10 over 5, sorry, which the answer is 2. So the gradient's 2. Again, now we write that equation out as it is, y equals 2x plus c. You can pick either of these points to sub in now. I'm going for 315, why? Because there's no negatives. So I've wrote 315, that means the x value is 3 and the y value is 15 at that point. And fire that into the equation, I end up with 15 plus 2 times 3 plus c. So I can work out what that is now, I'll rearrange it, so it's c plus 6 equals 15, so c must be 9, so therefore the general equation of the line is y equals 2x plus 9. So again, similar to the first one, in, in essence, except from this thing I'm not showing you a line, but similar in many aspects, find the gradient, um, find the, the value of c and rewrite the equation. Okay. Now this one's almost exactly the same as, as the first one we did, but these ones do come up a lot when you try to find the equation of a scatter graph line, a line of best fit. So again, it says find the equation of the line in terms of A and W. So again, we write our y equals mx plus c. We write down our two points. We've got a point D and a point E here. 3 along, 100 up. 15 along, 340 up. So we've wrote the two points there. The gradient is the vertical difference divided by the horizontal difference. It goes from 100 to 340, 240 difference. 3 to 15, 12 difference, so it'll be 240 over 12. And that gives you 20. Again, write your equation back out, y equals 20x plus c. Now, we have to work out the value of c, so we're going to go and do that just now. So the value of c, um, I've picked D to sub in, so D was 300, fire that in the equation, end up with 100 equals 20 times 3 plus C, you arrange it, you end up with C 40. So the general equation of the line is Y equals 20X plus 40, but it does say write it in terms of A and W. So again, you look at the Y axis and see what letters there, look at the X axis, see what letters there, and you put them in. So on the Y axis this time was W, or on the X axis was A. So I end up with the final answer, 20A plus 40 equals the weight. Okay. Part B, use your equation for part A, testament the of a one-year-old calf. Now, when I did, when this one was marked in the final exam, a lot of people wrote 20 times 1 plus 40, which doesn't make much sense, okay? Because then it's 60 kilograms, you look back in the graph, it wouldn't make much sense. Remember the ages and months, so one year, remember, is the same as 12 months, so you should fire 12 into the equation. 12 plus 40, you end up with 280 kilograms for the weight of a one-year-old, okay? Hopefully you've understood that. Right, again, this one, find the equation of the line, A, B, again, same type of procedure, we know Y equals MX plus C, find the gradient, we have to write down our two points, there's our two points, now this time, the difference here, we have to watch out here, is it's still vertical or horizontal, between 6 and negative 2, but I've actually dropped 8, so it's minus 8 for that bit, between negative 1 and 3 I went up 4, so it should be negative 8 over 4, which gives me negative 2. Now that makes sense as well, look at the line, it slopes down the way, so it should be a negative gradient, so negative 2 makes sense to me as well. Again, pick one of the points to fire in, to be honest, either one's equally difficult last time, so it's not, not a particular preference, but, um, so we're at the equation down, I'm picking this time A, negative 1 and 6, x is negative 1, y is 6, fire that in the equation, end up with c plus equals 6, so c is 4, so that makes sense, yeah, that looks like it could be 4 up in the graph there, so that makes sense. The general equation of the line is y equals minus 2x plus 4. So that's what's got the full equation of the line again. Okay, so let's have a look again at the next one. This one, very similar to what we did earlier on, it wants us to find the gradient of the line. 
So it's given us an equation like that, but we can't find the gradient by looking at that. We have to put it in the standard form, y equals mx plus c. Rearrange the equation to make y the subject of the formula. So I started doing that by adding 5y to both sides. So we end up with 5y equals 3x minus 10. Now I can divide both sides by 5. End up with 3 fifths x minus 2. So the bit, now it's in the standard form. The bit in front of x is the gradient. So m is 3 fifths. And that is us done them all. So that's all the past paper questions that are put for National 5 Maths. Basically, if you can do all them, you probably pass for the straight line at National 5 level. So try and get a hold of that. Let me know if you get any questions in the comments in the video section. Thank you.